So as you're looking to level up your church online services, let's talk about how we can create a better experience. In this video, we'll get three areas that will help you create a better experience. One, how can you make it easy to connect with your church? Two, we'll talk about engaging volunteers. And number three, we'll talk about creating more engaging content. So the first thing we're gonna talk about on creating a better experience for your online service is we're gonna make it easy for people to connect to your church. Now, this is a great time for you to evaluate what you already have, all of your websites, all your social medias. Would it be easy for me or for someone that was brand new that knew nothing about your church to find your online service? So the first thing I would say is make it easy to find. One of the easiest things you can do is put the links where people would go. How about your homepage? Is there an easy way to find your online service straight from your homepage? Or maybe you have a locations page with different campuses. Is that church online experience easy to find and easy to click? How about social media? If you have different social media pieces, are you pushing your church online experience so people can easily find it? So the good news is when you make it easy for people to find your church, they are going to show up. So the question is, what happens if they come to your online service and you don't have a service happening? Well, the good news is in the church online platform, we have a thing called offline state, and this is a way that you can still take people to their next steps. So here are a few best practices for this offline state for your church online. One great thing you can do is create a welcome video. That just helps people know that you have an online service, what they can expect, what they could do. It could even have different next steps that they could take right now before your service even started. You could also refresh that for each series or each season that makes sense during that time. Another thing you could do is use a photo. And this could be some way to show people what some next steps could be as well. Maybe it's reading plans that your church is going through. Maybe it's giving opportunities. Uh, maybe it's the series that you're on right now. This is another way to make people feel welcome and to take next steps even when your service is not live. And then the third thing that you could do that I think is really important is you could turn on the offline prayer. That's an option in the Church Online platform that allows people to request prayer even when you don't have a live service. This is an incredible opportunity to connect with people that are trying to find your church in a point of need and you can minister to them and help them engage in the life of your church. Another way to level up your experience is to engage volunteers. When you have passionate, trained volunteers at your online service, you're going to up the game in the experience that your attenders have. So here's some great things volunteers can do for your online experience. They can welcome and engage with attenders in the chat. They can answer questions about your church. They can actually pray one-on-one -on -one with attenders who are in need. They can push moments, which is a great feature in the Church Online platform for your church online experience. They can even help you set up your services for the church online. Volunteers are such a key part and we've made a way where you can have all of them engaged in your online experience. We have a thing called host tools where they can have their own chat, where you can communicate with them one-on-one -on -one, and then they can go serve attenders. I'm telling you, volunteers will change the game. One thing, it will engage your attenders. Second thing, it will engage those who volunteer and it brings more opportunity to serve in your church. And lastly, to create a better experience, focus on engaging content. So have you ever been in a conversation with someone and they weren't looking at you, but yet they were talking to you? The truth is that doesn't happen a whole lot. But think about your church. Many times we're talking to those in our audience and these are just observers. It's amazing what this will do to engage people in your content and in your church and in their next steps. Now that seems like a silly example, but it's so obvious to all of us, right? But if you treat that camera just like you would any other person, it's amazing how things can completely change. So think about this, for all of the ways that you engage people in your church service, many of us have done ministry in a building. So we have these processes, we have these ways that we engage people. So the big thought is, how do you translate those things where you see momentum, where you see people responding, 
or you see people using hymnals, right? Are you providing that kind of experience online? What if you, like our church, has a lot of response where people are asked to raise their hands, sort of surveys of people? Do you have the ability for those online to experience this same engagement? We have great tools that you can use for that. So let's talk about ways to focus on engaging content. So here's some best practices for engaging content. First, camera placement. It makes all the difference in the world. You don't want a camera way far from your speaker because it feels like you're way far from your audience and your audience feels that. So camera placement is actually really important. With that is mic, your mic placement and the audio. It's gonna be very, very important. The second thing is the equipment that you're using. You know, as you continue to do online experience, you're going to figure out what works well and it's good to evaluate what that is. Audio is hugely important, even more important than your video. So be sure that you're looking at that, you're evaluating that and you have the right teams that are continuing to say, hey, how can we get better? The third thing, which I think is one of the most important things you can do is to lead your communicator to speak directly to your online audience. So many of you might be doing this hybrid church approach where you're doing a live service and you've got live people in the audience and then you have people that's on your online audience. It's so simple, just like your speaker does, they're going to look people in the eyes and then they're going to look that person in the eyes and they're gonna go over here and talk to this person. And to be able to have a natural flow of conversation is gonna be huge. A second thing you can help them with is to engage that audience. If they're doing response, be sure that they look at the audience and ask that same question, the online audience. Um, be sure that they realize the different ways that they can engage their audience, the online audience, to engage just like they do those people in person. So the last thing you can do is focus on your online attenders. So not just the speaker or the pastor that's focused on this attender, but actually having, maybe it's an online pastor or someone that is welcoming this audience specifically at the beginning and maybe they're closing out at the end and helping them with what their next steps could be in this online community. So we've covered a lot of ideas to help make your experience even better. But before you put any of these ideas into practice, be sure you're asking yourself, is this who we are? Is this our next step in our online expression of our church? So as you are focusing on engaging content, please share your ideas, your tips and tricks that's working for your church in the comments below, because we really are better together. So I hope this has been inspiring and inspiring great ideas for you and your church so that you can level up your online service.